Liz Truss was nowhere to be seen on UK television on Sunday. Instead, she was holding crisis talks with her new chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, after one of the most turbulent weeks in UK political history. And it was left to Hunt to pick up the pieces, insisting that the Prime Minister would stay put. Actions speak louder than words. Uh, the Prime Minister has changed her chancellor. More political instability at the top, another protracted leadership campaign. I think that's the last thing that people really want to happen. But inside the Conservative Party, talk abounds about how to get Liz Truss out of Downing Street. Crispin Blunt has become the first party MP openly calling for her to go. And reports suggest groups of MPs are already plotting to remove the Prime Minister, with one newspaper saying that could happen within the next week. Critics say the party could be obliterated in a general election if Truss remains in charge. So there's been one horror story after another. It's not just about tax cuts for the rich, but about benefit cuts, cuts to public services. Uh, even today we're reading that they may uh, impose charges on long-term sick and disabled for, who are parking at hospitals. And this is not what the, what the public wants. Writing in a Sunday newspaper, Truss said she'd listened and gotten the message. She said we cannot pave the way to a low-tax, high-growth economy without maintaining the confidence of the markets. But it may already be too late for Truss to get that confidence back. It's now the week ahead that could make or break the UK's new Prime Minister.